Okay, so for Christmas, we decided to make the kids outdoor Jenga games. And Kelly's is done. Um, she's already got hers, but we're working on Heather's. This pile is done. This pile um, needs the ends um, taken care of. And what I wanted to show you guys really quick was these ends. Can you see how splintery those are? We did notice one thing that I just kind of wanted to share with you guys. See if I can find a better one. There we go. So depending on what you're doing, the slower you take your saw in and out of the wood, the less splinter you're going to have. So the quicker you're cutting that piece of wood, the, the more it's going to splinter. So I thought I'd actually cut a couple pieces real quick and show you guys and kind of go from there. I am not going to videotape me actually cutting because it's just going to be really loud unless you guys just want to turn your volumes down, in which case we'll just go ahead and have at it. So if you want to turn your volumes down really quick, and then when I get done cutting two pieces, I'll kind of give you a signal or a thumbs up or something, and you can turn your volume back up. So hang on a second. Okay, this is where you guys want to turn your volumes down for a second, okay? I'm going to cut two. I'm going to cut one fast and one slow and love me because that means we have to take care of a couple of them but that way i can show you guys okay so there's that and it just means clean up to cut these pieces are going to need to be taken care of just a little bit more so let me go ahead and show you a slow one and um, then I'll go ahead and I'm going to shoot a different video for the Jenga pieces. So I'll be right back. Go ahead and turn your volumes back down. Little bit of splinter, but not near as much as this one is. So, depending on what you're doing, if it's going to be a nice, pretty, finished piece, then you definitely want to take your blade a little slower, because the faster you go, the more chewed up and tore up that that's going to be. And it does depend on the blade and how many teeth. That's a whole different talk for later, but I just kind of wanted to give you guys that option. So, if you're, going to, if you're new to using a chop saw, that might be a good hint for you guys. So... I'll talk to you guys here in a few minutes because we're going to shoot another video. Have a good one. 